Good morning, Average Fam. Happy Friday, TGIF. How's everybody doing? What's your plans for this weekend? What's going on? Let's hear about it. I'm always in a good mood, I feel like, on Friday. Beautiful out, like I went outside and the wind is, oh, I hope it stays like this all day, but we all know that ain't gonna happen. So, grab your coffee and let's get started. Cheers to you. To a safe and a happy weekend. And a happy Friday. So uh, yeah, let's let's see what's today's topic going to be about. Like I mentioned yesterday, I should probably write these things down. But we all know Mama's brain by now. I guess I'll just start talking, and then we'll figure out a topic to go from there. Okay? Good. Cool. Cool. Yes. 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 Okay. Let me take a sip. Mm. I got a topic. This Pokemon Go game. Okay, I don't play video games. I haven't played a video game since Crash Bandicoot, Simpsons Hit and Run. What was I like, seven or eight? I don't even know, but I'm not a big video gamer. Hey, listen, I don't judge people. Whatever makes you happy, go for it. Go for it, do what you gotta do. You wanna go around running around chasing Pokemon and being a Pokemon master. Go for it. And yo, there's Uber drivers now that take people, that drive people around like for hours to find these Pokemon. Do you know how much money they make? I should go get that job. I'll drive you people around to go find Pokemon. I'm serious. Imagine the tips. Wow. That must be insane. But it's like, I heard like, you know, on the news and everything that like people are breaking into cemeteries, which is... Guys, if you're gonna play this game, like, I understand it's supposed to be a fun thing, but some people are taking it way too seriously. And it's like, don't go breaking into cemeteries at night, number one, just to go catch friggin' Pikachu and Squirtle or whoever their names are. It's like, it's like, oh my god, look, there's a charm at me to buy this grave. Like, that's so disrespectful. That really is. Like, think about it for a second. Imagine someone going into a cemetery and let's say, you know, your parents, your siblings, or, you know, a family member, anybody is in that cemetery and people are breaking in and, you know, desecrating the place just to pick up a Pokemon. I think it's extremely disrespectful. It's like, if you're going to do that, go during the day and just don't step on people's graves. Don't push over graves. Like, don't be stupid. It's like, what's wrong with you? You want to catch your Pokemon. You want to go grab your Charmander. Go do that. But be respectful. And also that, let me, let me tell you something. Let me, People, this is how sick, this is how sick people are getting. They literally will knock on your door, ring your bell, and say, can I come in and catch a Pokemon? I'm gonna let you ponder on that for a second. Uh, if somebody knocked on my door, rang my bell, whatever, Morning, noon, night, afternoon, middle of the day. I don't give a shit what time it is. We will have a problem. Nobody, strangers or not, is coming up in my crib to catch a Pokemon. Are you, are you, are you people crazy? Do you know how dangerous that is? Like, even if you're not, like, a child, like, a, a kid playing it, like, a 13, 14, 15-year-old, regard you could be 20, 30, 40. You know how dangerous that is to ring a stranger's bell and to walk inside their home to, ca to catch them all? It's like, oh, look, you got your little friggin' Pokemon guy with the wings, and then you think, like, what if something happens? What if something happens? What if you just happen to ring a crazy person's bell and they attack you or they lock the door behind you and you get kidnapped or something? Do you do people think before you before you actually do something for a stupid game? Whatever makes you happy, I'm happy for you. 
but do it with logic and common sense, which, let's be real, ain't so common anymore. Let's be honest. It baffles my mind. It really, it really, really baffles my mind that people will actually go to these extreme limits and levels to, to for a game on your phone. It's not real life. You are not Ash or Ash or whatever his name was from the show when we were kids in the 90s. 90s kids love y'all, bro. Let me tell you something. Again, if... She don't know the original Pokemon and the show and whatever. She too young for you, bro. She too young for you, bro. So I'll move on. Anyway, just had to throw that in there. <laughs> but seriously, in all seriousness, this morning coffee chats is going to be a little more serious just because it's like this game is getting... Look, whoever invented this game, dude, dude, you're a millionaire, multi millionaire billionaire god only knows you're probably gonna get even richer god bless you but put out like a statement of some kind because this is the game that you invented tell people the guy that invented the game if you go and tell people oh yeah don't do this don't do that like people are gonna listen we all know that they're not people do what they want but it's like you should still put out a safety statement saying like don't go into people's houses. Or if, since you invented this app, whoever the graphic people are, like that po place the Pokemon, or whatever the case may be, don't put them in people's homes. Because that is so dangerous. So dangerous. Like, I also heard on the news that there are like hot spots, basically, that like, you know, you can apply to have a Pokemon Go, uh, Pokemon things there. That's cool, that's safe. But do it with using your brain. Don't do it at, like, a nice restaurant where people are trying to enjoy eating and you got crazies running around with their phones trying to do whatever. Because, like I said, I never downloaded the game. I have no idea how it works. It's like people have tried to explain it to me. It's still, it's still not clicking. I guess you gotta play it to understand. But again, I'm not into it. Not planning on downloading it. It'll never happen. But anyway, it's like there's gotta be something that you people that invented it can do to keep these Pokemon out of people's homes and to keep the people playing the game considering you know this is what they're doing, breaking into cemeteries, going into people's houses. And that's it too. What if people don't even ring the bell to, to go into someone's house? What if they see that they're not home and they break into their house to go catch their little Pokemon because they're that psychotic to get their Pokemon? So they could be the Pokemon master or whatever it is. Put out a statement. Like I said, like I, referring back to what I said before, yeah, people might not listen, but put out a statement or do something to make it safer. Place these Pokemon in places that are safe. Not people's houses, not cemeteries. It's, it's, it's like, I, I, I literally, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I can't even wrap my brain around it because it's so wild to me. Even if I was a video gamer and I was into playing this Pokemon Go game, number one, I would never go into a cemetery day or night to catch a Pokemon because, like I said, I think that's disrespectful. That's extremely disrespectful. Let the dead rest, okay? You want someone running over your grave to go freaking pick up a Pokemon or some shit? Yeah, go ahead and say yes. I really doubt it. Or, like, your mother, your father, your grandpa, anybody. No, you wouldn't. And it's like I said, not only do they go, but these people vandalize things, too. You want to go catch your Pokemon, but you got vandalized? Why do you got to do that? And it's like, even if, again, even if I did play this game, even if I did download this game, I would never ring someone's bell and ask them to go inside to catch any Pokemon or anything. I don't care if the game said, yo, there's five grand sitting under a couch in this house on 
freaking Smith Street in Virginia. Like, I don't care. It's getting out of control. And there's got to be something that the creator and the, the team of this Pokemon Go game can do about it. There's got to be a way, because if there's a way for you guys to place them in places and that there's hotspots, there's got to be a way for you guys to be able to not place them in certain places. Release a statement. Do something. It's dangerous. And do you realize what you're doing to people? They, I saw on the news that people got into legit fights. Fights. Because who wants to catch this Pokemon first? It's like, do you, you know how the world is nowadays. People can get stabbed, killed, into more fights because they want to catch Pokemon. Let's, come on now. Come on now. Ridiculous. It gets me so mad because it's, 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 it's absolutely insane to me. It's insane. Enjoy a game. Do it safely. Safe lay. Use your head. Use common sense. It's supposed to be for fun, not taking it so seriously where you think that this is real and these Pokemon are real and that you actually have a freaking Pokeball and you're catching them and you open them and releasing them. You're not a Pokemon master. It's not real. It's a game. And I'm sorry I'm getting so passionate about this as I started this video off saying that, like, you know, I'm in a good mood today, I'm in a positive mood. But it really is such a crazy thing to me. It really is. It's like, wow. Just wow. You know, I need a sip of coffee, Jesus. Spilled it all over myself, but... It's like, I don't even know what else to say about it, except for the fact that it's something needs to be done. And it's like, the creators, the team, you need to do a step up and do something. Yeah, it'll. It, I'm sure that in the terms and services and whatever agreements that when you first download the, I'm sure they're in the fine, tiny ass print, it's like, but please be safe while you're done. Yeah, I'm sure it says that. But actually go on, you know this generation is straight up social media. Social friggin' media. Ain't nobody, and I, I, I'm guilty of it myself when I download an app. Like, I downloaded an app called Daily Quotes because I like reading daily inspirational quotes and motivational quotes. It makes me feel good. And a lot of them are very relatable. So if you like, this is not sponsored by them, by the way. I love that app. Because every day, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling, you know, overwhelmed, anything, and you get a little notification for it, and you open it, and it's like, you read what it says, it makes you feel good, you know? Like, at least me personally, it does. Like, because sometimes it's, it's weird. What you're thinking in your mind, what you're overwhelmed from, what you're upset about, whatever, and it's like, you open up this, this app, the Daily Quote app, and the motivational quotes, and it's like, it's like, wow. That's exactly how I feel, and it's like, it just it just makes you feel better. Like, F. Scott Fitzgerald is one of my favorite, favorite authors of all time. He's amazing. And it's like, there's a lot of quotes by him in there. And it's like, his quotes are so deep, because I'm a very deep person, meaningful, and you, you just, it just makes me feel better, basically, is what I'm saying. But aside from that, you can have fun playing your games, doing whatever you want to do. But there are limits to everything. Do not exceed those limits. Don't go beyond these limits. Because it's like, again, it could be so dangerous for you. So dangerous. And it's like, you're realizing you're risking your life if God forbid you go to someone's house or if you get into a fight with somebody and you get hurt like to, for a pokemon game that's not real get that through your head it's not real it's not real it's not real it's fake so guy that invented it and their team maybe you should release a statement and change where these pokemon are located 
because it's getting out of control and out of hand and it's just getting dangerous for everyone. It really is. But it's like, hey, those Uber drivers that I was mentioning before, they're probably making dough. It's like, yo, Uber, holla at me. I got you. Hit me up. But that was my tangent on uh, Pokemon Go. Oh, let's move on to a happy note. Know, because I'm going to have to edit the crap out of that. Because I think I repeated myself 150 times. So it won't be too long of a video. Like I said, what are you guys doing this weekend? Leave it in the comments below. Check out my social media. Did you guys like my empties video? Was it, was it good? Did you, did you purchase anything that I mentioned in there? Because I know that my girl, Wolfie, she said she went online and she was purchasing the hair mask. So when you get it, let me know and let me know what you think. Because what I do, the hair mask, it comes, like I said, in a tub. I showed it to you in a vlog, I think. Yeah, it was in a vlog. You take it, you put it in your hair. After you shower, I mean. I did was my hair was dry. And I just, like, wetted it a little bit. I love it. I saturated my head in that mask and I bought like this silk uh not real silk but like like this silk like shower cap kind of thing slept in it the next day you wash it out the next morning remember in that video but I had to make it private that's what I was wearing that cap so if you didn't see that video you're not gonna know what I'm talking about but if you did you know what I'm talking about after that washed it out and my hair was so soft and I bleached my hair I first bleached my hair at the end of September, September, beginning of October, pretty sure. So it was like, you know, like my hair, my hair was fried. I need a haircut anyway, because I want to go back to like, I, I, I used to always love long hair, like long hairs. Like I used to like, oh, I used to have hair down past my butt when I was younger. Like there was pictures of me holding my baby cousin when I was young, mind you, I was probably like eight, so beautiful. But it was like, now, you know, having a baby and everything, I love the short hair look. And not just because it's in style, because I'm not that person to go with the flow and just because everybody is doing this and everybody likes this style. I'm, you know, I'm not a trendsetter. I do me. I do what I like. If I like it, I will do it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who gives a shit? Do what you wanna do. There's only one you, and that's your power. Okay? Let anybody determine who you are. You determine who you are. And you are the perfect version of you. All right? So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this coffee talk this morning. I know it started off, you know, positive, and then it went to Pokemon Go, and then we went on to another tangent, as usual, because that's average Ray, baby. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Be safe. And have a great time. Do something you love doing. I love you guys so, so much. All my love, all my positive energy to you. Bye.